I believe that health is an act of love. It's something that we could create and spread together. I mean, how many people in this room, we all have ambition, we're all here for a reason, right? Um, how many people here, raise your hands, who wants to be average? I think anyone who's curious and wants to be stimulated, wants to dream about the future, the future of medicine, the future of healthcare, and the future of the world, needs to attend this conference. The most interesting intersections in health and medicine and innovation come from the collision of fields. And so I think people come here to get out of their usual bucket. Healthcare will only be advanced if we bring together truly multidisciplinary people. The new drug is the empowered patient. The new drug is the empowered clinician, medical student, pharmacist, nurse. For the last decades, we as healthcare professionals tended to innovate on behalf and for patients. And that's strange. They have their own voice, they have their own knowledge. They are the experts in having the disease. So why not innovate together with patients? Folks come to discover if it's happening in 3D printing and nanotech and AI and biotechnology. Once we get the technology right, uh, once we build communities of innovators, of thinkers, of futurists, and everybody is coming together to solve the world's biggest challenges, there's really no limit to what can be achieved. For the first time in history, more or less at just the moment we need it, innovation is giving up its secrets. Even a few years ago, many of the issues we were discussing were regarded still be, like belonging to the realm of science fiction. Now the conversation is, it's here, it's possible, let's do it. We're going from sick care to health care. And the concept is incredibly straightforward. Health is life. And when life goes wrong, health goes wrong. Things that bring us together are really healing. This conference itself is healing to the extent that it brings together like-minded people who have a common purpose in trying to understand how can we serve people better. One of the great things about exponential medicine, it's not just about all this great content, it's about all these extraordinary people connecting, being part of all these different fun activities and having these great experiences. You're bringing the fringes together, and wherever the fringes meet, the, there's massive potential. The sparks fly. Our brains are wired for, for change, and for breaks, and to be stretched, and to be inspired. And you need a bit of fun and creativity, and so mixing that here with our curriculum and exponential medicine helps spark people uh, to be their truest selves and to get out of their normal comfort zone. What's so important to us is making sure that we're fostering this sense of community. That's the beauty of exponential medicine. It's great ideas, great people, great fun. Lots of fun meeting the folks in the innovation lab and just seeing and, and having the opportunity to have the hands-on experience with the new technologies out there. It's like a breath of fresh air. I want to live in a world where things are better and I helped make that. If you're interested in what seems impossible, then here you will find like-minded individuals who would embrace you and strengthen the sense of possibility. And I think that that's where it's so exciting to be, um, you know, dreaming up what the next five, ten years could be and then, and then pulling it back and saying, what can we do in the next half a year to actually achieve that? And it's as simple as build a system that thrills you, <laughs> that makes you happy, that you would want your child in. Why are we doing what we do? Is it just to publish another paper, or are we really trying to make somebody's life better? Are we trying to improve communities? I'm on a personal mission. I want to make locked-in syndrome go away. I do not want to see another patient in our neurointensive care unit who can't move and can't speak, who's awake and alert. And if I do, I want to be able to tell them, I'm really sorry that happened, but you'll be communicating tomorrow. And this type of system representative of the field that's focused on this should be able to achieve that goal and I hope it's not too many years away. Exponential change is going to touch every aspect of our lives and now is the time when we need to be having meaningful, thoughtful, inclusive conversations about that future. Some of the things that we experience here is mind-blowing in what uh, we can bring to patients in the future. One of the most exciting communities I've ever been involved with just because there's so much energy and everybody has a different take on what's going on. So I think it's really cool. I would miss this conference for nothing in the world. This conference has a little bit of everything for everyone and that you may not initially know how you fit into the bigger puzzle, but everyone who comes here has something to offer. 
I want to say in the spirit of Dr. Orange from last night, I love you all. Thank you very much.